Did you know that for decades, former Nazi German war criminals served at the highest ranks of NATO? Forget what you've heard about Germany making amends for its Nazi past, Nuremberg just to serve blah blah blah. Britain and the US built up the German state as we know it today, almost entirely using former Nazis. The first West German intelligence agency was headed by the CIA who installed a former Nazi general at the head of the agency and named it after him, the Gillen Institute. Why you ask? Because as usual, they found they have more in common with genocidal white supremacist fascists to the likely alternative communists. The most famous of them was Adolf Heusinger. He was actually Hitler's chief of staff and helped plan the Nazi invasions of Poland, Norway, Denmark and France. After the war, this German war criminal was allowed to take over the newly established West German army, the Bundeswehr, and in 1961 was made the chairman of the NATO military committee. And that's not all. Here's a list. I'll start off with the ones that have been awarded the Iron Cross, the Nazi military's highest award, who then went on to take up top positions in NATO. Johannes Steinhoff, chairman of the NATO military committees 1971 to 1974, amongst other NATO positions before her. Then there's Ernst Ferber, who was NATO's commander in chief of Allied Forces Central Europe. Karl Schnell was too. Franz Josef Scholze was too. Then we have Johann von Kielmansegg. And last but not least, Ferdinand von Senger on Etalin, recipient of the German Cross in Gold, was you guessed it, also NATO's Commander-in-Chief of Allied Forces Central Europe. Anything and anyone in the name of fighting communism, huh? 